Another uh, important thing to know is the cutting planes. So that allows you to select a section or your filter your view. To do that, you just need to uh, right click on the 3D view, uh, select the cutting plane, you know, X, Y, Z or box. There are, as you can see here, there are four options. So X, Y, Z it, uh, allows you to see like sections or like plan. Uh, and the cutting box, uh, as you can see here, this is an example of the cutting box. It is, well, basically just showing some part of the, um, of the project, of the model. So to, to exit the cutting plane, again, you need to right click and just um, select cutting plane. You, you just need to unclick the selected cutting plane. So you will see the whole model again. So how you can use this, for example, uh, let's say you will create an animation and you have a, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe a benchmark room. So while you are showing, you, you know, the, the progress of the uh, whole project, maybe in, in a small video, you would like to show, you know, the, the progress in, in that uh, benchmark room. So in this case, it's really, you know, helpful to use cutting box just to show that part of the project. So it's really useful. In the next video, we will start with topic three, which includes how to synchronize R for the model with updates and how to create an animation. And our first video in topic three will be how to synchronize R3D model.